Hey guys, welcome back to another session. I've been off for two days moving and getting everything settled and I promise you the Holy Spirit is going in. We got messages flying out all over the place, y'all. So right now, I'm getting a little incense going. About to cleanse the space from the last reading. Give the cards a little once over. Refresh this energy here. Make sure that everything is nice and clean for this next new message that I'm feeling. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for refreshing these decks. Make it be new and fresh energy for this new reading that we're feeling here. So let's get that into its spot here. And uh, see what's coming out. Ooh. Right now, I'm already feeling the weight on this. Time to remember and see into your soul. Ooh, Holy Spirit, come through. Let's see, what are we talking about? We got Capricorn coming up, popping up. Is that an energy? Nope, maybe not a Capricorn, could be. Somebody might be going through some betrayal. Sometimes pain causes people to come through and remember some stuff. Maybe something happened in the past. You know, could be up to seven years ago. Somebody from the past. Somebody who's refusing to let go. Maybe you're refusing to let go. Or somebody that you thought that you let go of that you don't know. Or that you thought was gone. Because the refusal to let go was coming up in reverse. So maybe I was feeling it upside down, the energy. So maybe it's somebody that you thought was gone that's, hmm. Hey, baby, on their way back, like, what's that? Hmm? A time to remember, see into your soul. Maybe somebody want to make a connection. Right. Yeah, definitely feel like something that was in the past, late in the midnight. That's like a long time ago. You want this deck spirit? Let's see. Let's see who this is. What is this? People watching. Maybe somebody that you thought, you know, was in behind the scenes. Maybe they watching you still want to take that off. So we going to, uh, is this person a good person? Yeah, spirit says yeah. Maybe they wasn't in the past. I don't know why y'all not together, but, you know, or y'all not cool, whatever. Maybe you kept your light after the breakup or whatever. They see you shining. Yep, see you shining. Now they want to pop back in for another round. Mm -hmm. Maybe God got a hold of them. You know what I mean? Maybe God said, yeah, I'm feeling that one to pop out. This person probably had you had, was under some illusions or something like that. Smell the flowers, pick the leaves. So people are smelling of <laughs> and taking a new fresh outlook on life. Taking the time to kind of get into self, get into some ground and seeing life from a different angle. Smelling the flowers to me is like, you know, just appreciating the world around you picking the leaves, you know, looking at nature, seeing God everywhere. I'm getting love over lust here. So it definitely, if you're picking and smelling flowers, you're having a loving, you know, sentiment, something like that. Speaking into the existence is popping out, you know, time to evolve, right? Maybe this person did evolve or maybe they didn't, you know, or uh, maybe that was a challenge in the situation. Enjoy the sunshine is here. Um, maybe you have a very high vibrational dis disposition, right? You are always looking for the sunnier part of life, very, uh, into nature. Maybe you're a cancer. We have cancer pulling here. Uh, yeah. Somebody who put their problems behind them, right? I got the spilled milk who wants to come up too, but it's in reverse. Maybe this person is no longer crying over spilled milk. We see them high vibrant, enjoying the sunshine, smelling the flowers, picking leaves, putting problems behind them, you know. And uh, yeah, so looks like they probably uh, are in that attitude of knowing that God feels, right? God um, takes care of everything and then they can just go on. So I'm also pulling the Libra card here. So, you know, I don't know, maybe this has something to do with a cancer, something to do with the Libra, cancer in the Libra, take it how it resonates, don't really know. But, um, yeah, that Libra card wanted to pop back out to the top again. So, I don't know, we'll just put that back out there. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's grab some tarot, get into the tea, see what's happening for this Libra Cancer energy. Take it as it resonates. Now, for sure, it could definitely be 
um, any other water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, could also be another air sign, not so great at all of that stuff, but you know who you are, if you're not a Libra, could be somebody that's working on balance or balancing the scales and stuff like that could be going on, or just could be a highly emotional situation, not really for sure, spirit is wanting me to turn the deck over, five of swords, somebody is having some anxiety, yeah, somebody's in their head about something, you know, you see... Um, these thoughts is just kind of going around, flying over um, here for this person. You see all these birds up in here, and they're just flying around. You got one sitting on his shoulder. They're just kind of uh, talking to him in his head. Probably not such good thoughts or whatever. Or maybe this is gossip coming in. You don't know. It could be other people that are talking trash, you know. Okay, Spear, come through. Come through with the message. Come through with the message. Come through with the message. We got the seven of wands on the bottom. So that's speaking to protection. On the top, we got the ace of swords. You know, somebody either ruminating, going over and over in their head, round and round, or they're getting some um, divine guidance, some divine inspiration. Yeah. What is in the middle? We got a queen of pentacles with an ace of cups and justice and tower and burdens and walking away yeah that's what the meat of the situation is in here in the middle so that that's somebody walking away and they are pretty anxious about it definitely feel energy here with the ten of cups and the two of cups right here four pentacles behind that is definitely somebody holding on in this situation probably after they walked away some alignment some, but somebody is worried about this Ten of Cups, you know. Are they going to have a celebratory moment in this? Looks like they definitely are tied up in their head about it, right? So, uh, that's what I'm feeling here. So, let's get a little bit more. Yeah, somebody's definitely holding on. Holding on. Either holding on to the thought. Look at that. King of Pentacles. Match to the Queen of Pentacles prime. What is it? Somebody's holding on. Holding on to the thought of what? Manifesting you back and having in the success. They're working on it, but they are definitely having a hard time. Somebody's trying to make a choice here. Definitely somebody's trying to make a choice here. And the other spirit. Message of spirit. Feel some energy around here. Empress, it's creation, ability to make things happen again with that magician. Feel like somebody's trying to create a new start. Um, manifest a new start. Balance needs to come in. And we also got the Eight of Cups from somebody who walked away from this Ten of Pentacles. And they start working. This Ten of Pentacles here is right over a tower. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles working over the ten of wands which is burden so working on holding on and moving forward then we have the magician here with the six of wands so manifesting success but there's some anxiety about it and who this king of pentacles king of pentacles maybe was he doing some some sneaky stuff or maybe uh the lies are in reverse King of Swords energy, maybe he's releasing that King of Swords energy, but still having a little bit of sneakiness, or maybe, you know, he was, you know, in that energy, and now he's coming out of it, or this person is coming out of it, whoever this person is, so we definitely see at the bottom now the Ace of Pentacles, so uh, there's an opportunity here, there's definitely opportunity here. Come on, Holy Spirit, any last thing for this, this uh, tarot card, any more tarot come out? Queen of Cups. It's definitely a loving scenario, full of love. These people love each other. Page of Wands came out, it's in reverse. Somebody feels like there's not going to be any help or there's nothing that they can do. Or maybe it's not going to take, it's, it's not something that's going to take a, a, a light amount of work, right? You're going to have to dig in and put some work into this. 
instead of it being a page amount of help and support and tools needed to kind of pull this back together, you probably are going to need uh, some ace a wand type of help. Yeah, like the divine because it feels like to me this worry or gossip or whatever talk that's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, emperor energy. Yeah, not sure what to choose. That's what it is to me. Not sure what to do. Again, that page of wands up in the upright come back out. They just don't know how to make this happen. Yeah, the fool is in reverse. Seven of swords again. Trying to figure out how to, how to, what can I do? Right? What can they do? They don't know. They have no idea. So, yeah. Broken heart is here broken heart is here this person is trying to figure out how can they make this right how can they manifest this success that's what they're worried about talk to them spirit is there anything else that they can do so we know the need we don't know what happened to break up the union the relationship the partnership or whatever this is but we know that somebody is wanting to manifest success um however there's some worry, maybe some gossip about it. Yeah, they want to invest. They're thinking about investing. How can they do this? Start love over with the Page of Cups. Start over. Yeah, releasing this King of Swords energy. I bet you they were, um, didn't really understand, you know, this Seven of Swords just want to come out. They were sneaky. They were doing some lying stuff. That's what you walked away from, this sneakiness. Somebody walked away from some sneakiness. It was a lot of love here, but there was some sneakiness, and it came to uh, whatever that was in that Seven of Swords came to light with this Ace of uh, Swords here. So the truth came out and caused somebody to walk away, find balance, and that was a choice. That choice was justice, and it brought about a tower to this ten of, to the Pentacles here. Cause some burdens that they're walking through, people working through with love, holding on to love, right? Digging into love, using that to lighten the burdens and working on it hard at holding on to self and manifesting success. But somebody else is worried or you're worried about getting back together, how to restart, uh, uh, reinvesting or investing in something new. Not for sure how it flows, but that's what it definitely feels like to me. So... Let's see, how do we bring light into this situation? How do we bring light into this situation, Holy Spirit? Give us the light that we need to bring into here. We got protection. Call back your power, cut cord, soul retrieval. So whomever the person is that found out the truth about this sneakiness um, behind the scenes, definitely um, is calling back their power or you need to call back your power, cut the cords, maybe do a cord cutting in the spirit. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Not necessarily soul retrieval, but because I, I feel like you have that with that four, uh, four of pentacles energy, like you held on to, you know, the bare minimum, the me, myself, my I, spirit, you know, kind of thing, mind, heart, uh, so, like, you know, kind of thing, like the bare minimum that you needed. Anything else here, Spirit? And, and uh, this message to, or, okay, get grounded. That's always good, right? This double mission card keeps coming up uh, today. Somebody's definitely on a double mission, not only to do light work, but also to whatever it is that you're learning in this manifestation because you're a warrior. You're definitely a spiritual warrior. Have you answered your call? You know, trail and pain, betrayal, pain, circumstances, things like that often push us into ourselves, into the most high. And through that pain, you'll discover your purpose and what it is that you're supposed to be serving, right? So, ooh, I'm going to my card. Awakening was just saying that pain brings about the awakening to show you your service. In mirror is in a reverse. It came up in reverse. You guys just seen me pick it up off the table. Who or what is triggering you? Maybe you need to find that out, right? You're not looking in the mirror. You're not trying. This person is who is in anxiety. Maybe they're not looking in the mirror. They're not seeing how it is um, that their choices have affected them. What it is that their mindset helped lead them to certain choices. Um, 
yeah, play is at the bottom that just calls into bringing in some fun, some lightheartedness. That will always release anxiety. Um, so, and I've definitely shuffled these cards and, you know, that's just what spirit is saying. I think in this day and age, people just need to have some lightheartedness in general. You know, that's going to help relieve some of this anxiety. In a sense, just was literally saying that play is at the bottom of the other deck. Archangel Michael says, have some innocence. Innocence, you know, that's that childlike spirit, playfulness, joyfulness, you know, bringing about uh, those good high vibrations, innocent, young type of love, you know, that's that page of cups energy, right? Yeah. Innocent type of love, something that is just not naive, but, you know, refreshing, just, you know, thank you, spirit, detached from the situation. Whatever it was, that sneakiness that happened on in the past, detach from it, let it go. You've already walked away from it. So there's no need to uh, to stay in that energy. Self-respect. Yeah, you walked away from whatever the sneakiness was that you got some truth on and held because you know you were full of love. Your cup is overflowing. So you don't deserve any of this sneakiness behind the scenes. You held on to your self-respect. You walked away, got some balance, and now it's the justice. And it brought about a tower for that uh, ten of pentacles. I'm sure it hurt because you're carrying these hard about these ten of wands here. That right there is a lot of um, pain and all kinds of stuff. Ask the person the person you're asking about is trustworthy. Is this, this supposed to be out here, spirit, or is this a spill? Or the person that you're asking about is not trustworthy. Ah ha ha! So that's the seven of swords. This person is not trustworthy. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, you walked away from somebody that wasn't trustworthy, that didn't deserve um, your ace of cuts. And that's the justice. You walking away, gaining some self-respect, some balance, you know, tower to that ten of pentacles. And you're a magician. You can call back all your source material. You're not going to lose anything from that tower to the ten of pentacles. Again, protection, calling back your power, cutting the cords, soul retrieval. Thank you, spirit. Let's have another card down here. We can just get this. Spirit says it's time to leave this unhealthy situation. <laughs> yeah, you had to walk away from something that just wasn't good for you. It wasn't. It was not giving. Giving nothing. Giving. You have an ace of cups here. If you had to walk away from something that was seven of swords energy, that person was not trustworthy. They didn't understand and give you respect. You had to respect yourself and detach from the situation. It was unhealthy. It was going to challenge and, and take away your innocence. That childlike spirit that you have, it would diminish or reduce your light. So you have to hold on to that, right? You have created this situation and you have the power to change it. That's right. You walked away, changed your situation. You're the driver of your life. You, if there's anything in your life that you don't like, you have the power to change it. Always, 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 always. So um, I hope this got, I hope you guys got something from this message. Please just always remember that you have the power to change any situation in your life. You partnering with the most high god having confidence and self-assuredness that um you can make it through you will persevere and it's going to start all over from something fresh and new and could be new love or maybe um that's who you walked away from don't know you know it could be either or with the page of cups seven of pentacles and the king of pentacles um maybe this is somebody who's looking at investing in you because they see that you have this Ace of Cups, that you're full of love, that you're strong, you have self-respect, you walked away from something that was hard, you were able to work through your own burdens while keeping um, an immense amount of love, like doing it with love, and uh, still being grounded, you know, and whatever it is that you're going through, you holding on to self, being able to manifest success, staying grounded, right, you're moving forward, but if this is one energy, release the anxiety. Because right here, what you're moving into is a king of pentacles with the seven of pentacles and a page of cups. So someone who may be wanting to invest in you. And it definitely will be a match because we have a king of pentacles over here and a queen of pentacles over here with an ace of cups 
and Queen of Cups. So very, very loving connection. Let go of the anxiety, release, figure out what you're not looking at. What's the trigger? Maybe it's something still left in here that you need to release, let go of so that you can really step into a fresh new start here. So, um, yeah, it's going to be successful. Six of Wands is here. So very encouraging. Hope this message finds uh, the person that it's supposed to uh, reach. And if it resonates for you with you, please take it. If it doesn't, please leave it. Um, yeah, tears and wheat, wheat and tears, wheat and tears, right? So the tears help show us again what we're supposed to be uh, seeing about ourselves. We mirror, reflect back to us um, what we should be. Uh, building up and strengthening within ourselves as we so that we can become good bread um you like this content please like subscribe share the videos we want to get this content out there for as many people as possible hopefully you guys have found something good in it and that is edification for you until the next time i shall.